Connor is here with our look at weather. And there's a surprising number in your seven day outlook <laughs> happening on Monday. Yeah. That a lot of people will take a little delight in. I think a lot of us are going to feel the warmth coming in that day. So a lot of people are going to be excited about that one. Not a real bad day today at all. We've seen a few hit and miss showers out there, but plenty of sunshine. In fact, here's a live look out towards Skamania Lodge. You can see how beautiful it is out in that direction. What a great day to uh, maybe play a little golf outside today. Now, here in Portland, we do have a spotty shower off to the west right now. Mainly partly to mostly cloudy as we look outside. Temperatures right now 61 degrees and our high today 62. And as we take a look at the almanac, we were pretty close to where we should be for this time of year. 63 is normal. You can see today we start off at 44 right where we should be. Back in 2001, 82 degrees was the record high. Temperatures around the region right now 59 in Salem. We're sitting at 56 in Astoria, 39 in Government Camp, and 62 degrees. In the Dallas Metro temperatures right now 61 in Forest Grove. We're at 55 in Sherwood, 63 in Tiger, and upper 50s for you in Camas. Still sitting at 62 degrees downtown. So there are a few spotty showers out there right now. They're very light up along Highway 30. A brief shower even out towards Hillsboro. Newburgh saw a thunder shower about an hour ago with this cell that's now right over Aurora, bringing in a downpour right now. But as we go back in time, you can see that crossing right uh, north of Newburgh. And we had a few cloud to cloud lightning strikes and reports of thunder up that direction. These are really weakening even out towards Redland and just uh, toward the south and east of, of uh, Oregon City. As the sun sets tonight, we're going to see these showers really diminish off. So as we expand out and look at the satellite and radar, you can still see a few showers down towards Detroit and then up into the Washington Cascades. So the plan for tonight again, showers will end. We'll stay in the 50s through about 11 o'clock. Could see some patchy fog by tomorrow morning. Right around 46 by 8 o'clock, noon 56 degrees. We will see more clouds than sun, I think, for tomorrow. And then once we get into the afternoon, could see some spotty showers, especially up towards our north and west with temperatures right around 61 degrees for that afternoon high. So as we look at the water vapor imagery, this is the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. You can see the spin right here. That's that upper level trough that's going to push toward the east. But if you look off towards the west, here's some clouds here. This is a warm front that's going to be approaching. It is going to bring warmer air. It's going to take about a day to get here. So here's the clouds that's going to make its way in tomorrow with the spotty showers ahead of that. So here's your hour by hour forecast through tonight. We'll see the temperatures dip. The showers will end. Waking up tomorrow in the lower 40s, right around 44 by 7 o'clock. But notice how many uh, clouds are around. So that's why I'm calling it more clouds and sunshine. Toward the afternoon hours, here's 130. We could see some of those showers making their way in towards the north and the west with temperatures right around 60 to 61 degrees. Going in toward the evening hours, we're going to stay mainly dry towards the south. But once we start to get into Sunday, you can see the warm air coming in behind that warm front right around 75 already by 2 o'clock. So a nice day as we end up in the upper 70s for Monday. So tomorrow we're going to see spotty showers along the coast, especially the further north. You get right around 60 for you in Tillamook. We'll be mainly dry down towards the south of the valley, but further north towards Kelso could see some of those afternoon showers with temperatures right around 60 degrees. Going to be a nice day out east of the mountains, generally sunny. The freezing level between 4,500 and 6,000 feet tomorrow morning. It will go up by tomorrow night as that warm front approaches right around 50 for you in government camp. So 79 for Monday. That's going to be the high. Some showers possible there for you on Tuesday with some sun breaks. Wednesday will stay dry, but temperatures stay in the lower 60s for the rest of the week with shower chances Thursday and on Friday. All right. Thank you very much, Riley. All right. All right Dan Christofferson is. Uh,